Okay, so now that we have printed it out, you see that the registration marks are reversed on these. All right, so then I take a laminate sheet. It's the one that you would, um, it's the two piece to where you would lay yours in there and use it in the laminator. Um, I made a video before to where I ran this through the laminator and then I sublimate on all kinds of adhesive. This right here helps you so much. You can do it without the laminate. Um, I've found that time is kind of touchy and finicky. Um, I do it like this and it works like a charm every time. Okay, and so to show you right here, this is a sublimated on transparent. Uh, no more water slides for me. Absolutely not. <laughs> this is the best way to go. Okay, so I'm going to take my sheet and I am going to tear it apart. It's together down on the end. Okay, and you're just going to... Okay, and your matte side is going to go face down. Oh, sorry. Confused you just a moment. Alright, so now I have a piece of Oracal 651 and you can do this on any adhesive as long as you have this sheet. Alright, so I am going to place this on there and then I will put this face down okay and I need to make sure that my registration marks are on here all right and now I am going to put it in a piece of butcher paper very so gently all right and then I'm going to put a piece of heat tape on it all right. Just to ensure that it stays on there. All right. And you're just going to fold it in like a sandwich right there. And then we are going to press it at 385 for 60 seconds okay and the key to this is after you press it you pull it off and you leave it until it gets completely cold then that way you can work with it um you can find that if you trim it up eight and a half by eleven because this is nine wide the actual laminate is nine wide um it won't stick to it too much, but it's not a problem. I'll show you in just a moment. All right, so now I'm going to turn you. Oop. Let's see. All right, there we go. So now I am going to put it in here and I am going to sublimate on this 385 for 60 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna slide this out and let this get completely cold, let it cool down and then I'm gonna move it over to my mat and I will show you the results. Okay, so now that it's completely cold, the reason why a lot of people like to cut it exactly is because it melts Sorry about 
that. Okay, so I thought I was saving time by not cutting it down, but it's not hard to do. All right. And so now you can come in here, you trim off the edges, and then we will put it in our silhouette and cut them out. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead... And you don't have to be precise. You just have to make sure that those are going to be on there. All right. I do this a lot on um, a lot of my tumblers. I don't like water slides anymore. So, here we go. And if you see a little bit of these marks right here, if you want to run it through a laminator before you sublimate it, you won't see any of this. But it doesn't bother mine on clear or white after I put epoxy on it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on... Okay, it is crooked. I want to show you that, but it will find the registration marks. All right, let me move you over. Okay, so I did a setting, but I'm going to go ahead in a lot of my videos, I'll show you that you can test on a print and cut. I like to go. All right, and I'm going to press test. perfect okay and this is a brand new blade <laughs> if you've seen my last video we had to cut it a few times all right so now I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to go to send okay Okay, hold on. Had it a little too deep but it is perfect all right so I got it in the middle all right and there is my little butterfly All right. If you have any questions about this, comment below and I'll be glad to answer it for you.